wedding feast. While Jesus was here among us, he was teaching whenever he could. He wanted people to know God, to know how to be friends with God and to be on their way to heaven. He often taught in parables, which are stories to explain important things. He often told these stories to people who wanted to hear them, but he also told them many times to people who hated him. And they hated him because he dared tell them that they were all wrong about God and they weren't good enough as they were. These were the religious leaders. And this is one such story. Once there was a king who wanted to throw a big party for his son who was getting married. Some people said no straight away. Others made excuses. They had to go to their fields or they had to see to their business. Some beat up or even killed the servants who came with the wedding invitations. When the king was told what had happened, he was furious. He told his servants to go out into the streets and even into the countryside where poor people lived and invite them to his party. It didn't matter whether they were good or bad. He was determined the party should be full. But the king also ordered his soldiers to destroy the city where the wicked murderers lived. They were to die because of their wickedness. And then the party began. The king saw a man who had come without wedding clothes. He had made no effort to be clean and tidy for the king. Again, the king was angry. He asked the man how he had come without the right clothes. The man had no answer. Then the king ordered his servants to tie his hands and throw him out. He'd be left outside in the cold and dark. We see from this story that Jesus wants us to know how important it is to have the right clothes for God. Now, the Lord wasn't saying that you have to have a posh frock or a, or a good suit to be friends with God. The Bible tells us that God does not look at the outside of us at all. He looks at our hearts. Jesus wants us to know that we have to have the right heart. A heart that loves God very much and wants to put him first. And that loves all other people too. So we really need a miracle to change our hearts. And this can only happen when we realise we are never going to be good enough on our own. We need to be forgiven and washed clean. This was the foolish man's big mistake at the wedding party. In fact, when we say sorry to God and trust Jesus, we are not only clean, but also dressed with the clothes of salvation. Of course, we can't see these clothes, but God can. And they are free to all who come to God in the right way and ask him. This includes you and I. Let's not waste time. Let's take up the wonderful offer of salvation and be dressed just right for the King of Kings. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life john chapter 3 verse 16 he made